Did you call back? was made possible and sponsored by MMOCS by cheap NBA 2K MT at MMOCS.com. Use my promo code PACKG and you can get a 5% discount. <sighs> I'm gonna have to do this video shirtless. What's up, Pack Nation? It is Pack here, and this is stupid. Everything is stupid right now. I hate everything. Why? Why do you fail me every single time? If you have not heard the news, Chris S. Porzingis has been traded to the Dallas Mavericks for DeAndre Jordan, Dennis Smith Jr., and Wesley Matthews. They also gave them Tim Hardaway Jr., Courtney Lee, and Trey Burke to the Mavericks. That's, it's so one-sided. It's so one-sided, I can't even explain to you how disappointed I am with the Knicks. So what I'm gonna do every time there's anything big in the NBA happen, I show you guys an NBA 2K19 with the roster update. But you know what? Don't expect me to be as excited as always because this is straight garbage. Being OG, make my day a little better. Join the Pag Nation. We're almost at 100 subscribers. Let's get this video started. We're gonna look at both the Mavericks and the Knicks. We'll start with the Mavericks because they got a much more important player. Chris Apps Porzingis, an 88 overall when healthy, is now with the Dallas Mavericks. Some of the best European players in the NBA are on the same team. Giannis is better than both of them, but Luka Doncic, Porzingis on the same team. Okay, Harrison Barnes is the third best player. They add Tim Hardaway Jr., who's also tied at the third best player. I think he's averaging 20 points per game this season. He has been shooting great field goal percentage, but he's still added to the Mavericks, a good score on the team. He can't play defense that well, but still, again, you're getting a good score with Tim Hardaway Jr., a 79 overall, added to this team. Courtney Lee is a good defender and good three-point shooter as a 76 overall. Doesn't play a lot with the Knicks, but that doesn't matter. He's still good. So they do drop some pretty important role players, but they add Porzingis, and that's just the big, like, oh, man. And they're, he's 23. Luke is 19. <sighs> Why? Now, according to 2K, their, their starting lineup is going to be Jalen Brunson, a point guard. Um, we've talked about him in the live versus 2K rating system. Y'all think he's pretty dang good, so okay. It might be JJ Barea, right? Where's JJ Barea? Who's injured? So when JJ Barea is injured, it's it's Brunson, Tim Hardaway Jr., Luka Doncic, Porzingis, and Sala. The starting lineup's definitely different. I wouldn't know if it's say better or worse. I think it's better because you have two stars on the NBA on the same team, and that's already making your team better than it was before. They still have some work to do to become a contender in the West because the West is ridiculous. But they got my man's Porzingis on the team. Now, according to 2K, Porzingis is better than Luka Doncic by one overall. I need to talk about the new roster update, by the way, because he was not an 87 overall last time, Luka Doncic. But according to 2K, Porzingis is better. Now, here's the question on Porzingis. He's injured. He's, he not only is he currently injured, he's still going to be injured for a little while. And it was a pretty big injury. Does he come back the same as he was before? That's kind of like the big question mark, yo, guys. Um... I, I can't tell you for sure because injuries are tricky and we don't know if he's going to become injury prone. So that's big question marks all around for Porzingis. Another thing about Porzingis is that he's the only NBA player that I know that starts the season off good every time and then starts to kind of struggle later on in the season. He gets really tired throughout the season and he starts to do worse and worse and worse. Maybe that was only a thing for the first couple of years and that's going to stop now. But for, so, for the moment, the past couple of years he's played, that's what he's done. So do, you, do I think he's going to do that again when he's on the Mavericks? I don't know. That's just a thing to talk about. Realistically, they got Porzingis. That's a really good thing for the Mavericks. But now let's talk about my team. So now we add DeAndre Jordan, 82 overall, tied with Ennis Kanter as the best player on the team. If I had to pick between DeAndre Jordan and Ennis Kanter, I'm probably going with DeAndre Jordan. He's one of the most athletic players. Specifically, he's one of the most athletic centers in the NBA. Plays amazing defense, elite defense. One of the best rebounders in the NBA. Can score, has a really high field goal percentage. I think, doesn't DeAndre Jordan have the highest field goal percentage in NBA history? That's, that's insanity. All he does is dunk, though, but still. He's, he's already 30 years old, though. He's a little older. But DeAndre Jordan is clearly a good player. No one argues that fact. He's not as good as he used to be, but he's still good. We Everyone knows that. That's not, the, that's not an argument. The other pickup we have is Wesley Matthews, tied for the third best player on this team. Wesley Matthews can shoot threes like crazy, can defend, having one of the better seasons of his career. He's 32 years old, annoyingly. 
that's not a good sign for the Knicks. The big and important piece is Dennis Smith Jr. and the picks that they got. But Dennis Smith Jr. specifically, 21 years old, 76 overall, having a mediocre season. However, in the month of January, he's actually been pretty dang good, okay? He's, I think, scoring like 17 a game and five rebounds, five assists the whole month of January. That's pretty, pretty dang good for Dennis Smith Jr. He even had a triple-double last night against the Knicks. So... The talent's there, he's 21. The Knicks should have drafted him when they could, and now they have him now. Ugh, stupid athletic. I mean, I'm not upset that I have him, it's just I don't think this is enough to, to compare with what we had with Porzingis. It makes me upset. Who knows, maybe Dennis Smith Jr. could be amazing in a couple years. The only bright spot is the Knicks may get the first pick in the draft, and with that pick we can get Zion, and with Zion we can have a pretty athletic team, but that's all my like hopes really. Uh, I expect Dennis Smith Jr. to have a rating bumped up soon when playing with the Knicks and considered the third best player on the team. I can see him getting like a 78 overall pretty soon. <sighs> I don't know, man. It's not looking good for the Knicks. Not, not a fan. Let's actually see the starting lineup according to 2K. It's Dennis Smith Jr. at starting point guard, Wesley Matthews shooting guard, Kevin Knox small forward, Noah Vaughn the power forward, and DeAndre Jordan center. They might start Ennis Kenner at power forward, but he really is the center. So this is looking like the, the starting lineup. Noah Vaughn is actually pretty good for the most part. Kevin Knox has potential, but he hasn't shown me he's good yet. Same with Dennis Smith Jr. I don't know, man. I don't know. Let's say we're, re we're replacing Noah Vaughn with Zion, which is going to hopefully happen. It's still not good enough. You do okay in the East. Maybe get AC if we're really lucky and Zion's that good, but not even, man. Now... Another thing is that now we have a lot of money to get two max contract players, but no one wants to play with us when our team is straight cheeks. I'm sorry. When it comes to picking up someone specific, if we do get Zion, the specific position we want to get is small forward, Kevin Durant. I don't know how I feel about Kevin Durant playing with the Knicks, but you know what, man? We need him because we suck and we're going to keep sucking. Hopefully Dennis Smith Jr. can pan out and be good, but I don't know you guys, I don't know. I'm not confident enough. I don't, I definitely for sure, I can give you, I can, I'm not gonna ask who won this trade. We know the Mavericks won this trade. They got Porzingis. Now again, we don't know if he's gonna be 100% when he comes back, but even if he's not 100%, even if he's 80%, he's good. I do expect Luka Doncic to be better than Porzingis, but who knows, maybe Porzingis, Porzingis has the ability. Mavericks fans, you guys should be so excited. Porzingis has the ability to be one of the best players in the NBA. And you have Luka Doncic, who's just so specifically different in this league. He's so good, so clutch. And you still have Harrison Barnes. Tim Hardaway Jr. is clearly can score. That's a good sign. Ah, we just lost so much, and we got back so little. So, like, we got back DeAndre Jordan, who's a good player, but Dennis Smith Jr., who's like a question mark. That's all we got in return, a question mark. And picks that are like in 2021 and 2023, that's not good. It's not a good sign. I'm not happy. I don't even know what else to say. I'm just, I'm stuck. I'm sad. I'm depressed with this team. Not a big fan. The Mavericks got a good trade. They're still, I don't know if they'll make the playoffs still. Um, Porzingis won't be coming back still for like another month. And even if he does, that's even if he decides to come back, I don't think that's going to happen realistically. The Knicks are going to keep losing because they want to get the first pick in the draft. The Knicks are in a better position than they were this season because, I mean, Porzingis was injured. So we literally removed the injured player and added a good center. Dennis Smith Jr. and Wesley Matthews. I'm not upset with Wesley Matthews. I'm not I'm not upset with who we got. I'm upset that we could have got more. There had to have been a better offer somewhere, guys. Like, there had to have been. This couldn't have been the best offer for the Knicks. Someone must have offered something better, but they. I, there's no news of that. I don't know, man. I don't think this was the Knicks' best choice. I think the Mavericks got a steal. When it came to using them in 2K, now Dennis Smith Jr. is actually like a dunking machine. He can drive it like crazy. You can definitely tell when it comes to having a point guard. He's better than any point guard on that team like Trey Burke or Manny Moutier. Dennis Smith Jr. is definitely a much more entertaining player to use. Another thing is dunking and dunking and more dunking. Friggin' DeAndre Jordan is a machine. You can lob it to him and he'll yam it on anybody. So it's pretty fun to do that. I couldn't do that with Porzingis before because obviously Porzingis is a little 
little weak and so it's harder to do it with him and even then there's no one to really pass it to him to make those positions happen and Wesley Matthews is dirty with his threes green lights like crazy for Wesley Matthews so it was fun I, I did have a good time using the Knicks with these new players but if they had higher ratings it would be even better with them but when I was using the Mavericks there's something that I couldn't explain using Porzingis doing corner threes Donch is doing fasty passes giving it to Porzingis where he can lay it up over everybody is just so satisfying it's kind of like a theme team you can also have fast break layups dunky with Porzingis and you can't even forget about Tim Hardaway Jr. too because Tim Hardaway Jr. can still shoot threes so he's not like he's like useless and then Porzingis is from the logo just this team is so much more dynamic now the Porzingis and Doncic are on the court together it's a pretty fun thing to use it's different I never expected this to happen and yet it did what do you guys think about this trade do you think it was cash or trash leave it in the comments below be an OG join the pack nation and subscribe I will see you guys next time did you call back